Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to 10th grade similar triangles. We have been given triangle ABC in which angle ADE equals to angle ABC and angle AEF equals to angle ACD, angle ADE, angle ABC, angle AEF, angle ACD, they are equal. And also we know AF equals to 1, AE equals to 4, EC equals to 8. The diagram may not exactly represent the whatever the dimensions they have given, but the this is a arbitrary diagram we have done. AF is 1, AE is 4, EC is 8. Now we have to find out what is AF divided by DB. Now we will solve this problem by using basic proportionality theorem. So, we will go ahead and write down first that angle ADE is given equals to angle ABC. What are these angles? These angles are correspond, corresponding angles. If they are corresponding angles, then automatically I know that DE is parallel to BC. If DE is parallel to BC, then I can write down AD by DB equals to AE by EC and this is coming from basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. This is our equation number 1. Now, let us go to the next angle given to us angle AEF equals to angle ACD. Now, angle AEF equals to angle ACD means these two angles lines are parallel to each other because corresponding angles are equal. So, can we go ahead and write down that means EF is parallel to CD or can we write down that means AE by EC is equals to AF by FD. We have been given that AE equals to 4 EC is 8 that means what will be AE by EC 1 by 2. So, this is equals to 1 by 2. What we need to find out? We need to find out AF divided by DB. We have here AF by DF. We have AF by DF equals to 1 by 2. What we need to find out is AF divided by DB. Now, what we will do? We will reverse this add 1 and we will reverse this. Then we will get AF divided by AD equals to 1 by 3. Now, this is our equation number 2. We have AF by AD equals to 1 by 3 and we have AD by DB equals to AE by EC and that is equals to 1 by 2. So, we will multiply these two 1 into 2 we will be getting AF by AD and multiply that with AD divided by DB. So, that AD AD cancels we get AF by DB and that is equals to 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 which is 1 by 6. So, what is AF by DB? AF by DB is 1 by 6. Now, giving here AF equals to 1, we can do this in another way also. We can say that AF is 1, then AF equals to 1. We know AF by DF is 1 by 2. So, this guy will become 2. Then AD became 3 and we know AD by DB is 1 by 2 that means DB will become 6. So, AF by DB equals to 1 by 6. We can do that way also without taking AF equals to 1 also we can solve this. We can find out that AF by DB equals to 1 by 6.